It's important when you're doing field testing for dissolved oxygen that you take a Winkler titration method. YSI dissolved oxygen probes are notoriously off, so it's important when you arrive to a site that you do a Winkler titration method for dissolved oxygen first so you know if your YSI readings are off or not. When gathering your water sample, you want to gather a sample in fast moving water. This is a 60 milliliter glass stopper bottle. You will fill this up with your water sample. You want to fill your glass stopper overflowing with water and then you want to put your stopper into it and remove any excess water. Once again, it's very important to eliminate any air bubbles that you can. You'll be adding one dissolved oxygen one pillow packet and one dissolved oxygen two pillow packet to your sample. Whenever you're handling pillow packets, it's important to wear gloves. Once you've added your pillow packets to your sample, carefully insert the stopper again, trying to eliminate any air bubbles. Invert several times until it mixes. After you've added your dissolved oxygen pillow packets one and two, you're gonna to to wait until it settles, until the flock looks like this at the bottom of your bottle. Once your flock is settled, you'll be adding your dissolved oxygen number three pillow packet to it. Remove the software carefully and add your oxygen pillow packet number three. Once again, we enter the stopper into your bottle. Try to eliminate any air bubbles that you can. Pour off any excess that you have and invert several times to mix once again. Once you have added your dissolved oxygen number three pillow packet to your sample and you have a brownish hue like this into it, you will pour off exactly 50 milliliters into a graduated cylinder. It's important to pour off exactly 50 milliliters into your graduated cylinder. If you pour off an extra five milliliters, this can greatly affect your sample. Your excess sample is toxic and it's important that you take it back to the lab with you. You cannot leave it in the field. This is a sodium thiosulfate standard solution and this is a straight stem delivery tube. You will attach your straight stem delivery tube to your thiosulfate solution. You will attach your sodium thiosulfate solution to a digital titrator. You're going to want to turn this knob until you remove any excess from your straight stem delivery tube. You'll add your titrate solution to your sample until your sample turns a pale yellow. You want to do this process on a flat surface so you do not spill anything. Once your sample has turned to a pale yellow, you'll want to add two drops of starch indicator to it. Your solution should turn to a pale bluish color. A nice trick to do is to reset your digital tritrator so at the end you have less math to do. You're going to want to keep adding the digital tritracing solution until your sample turns clear. Once your solution is clear, you're going to want to record the number right here on your digital tritrator. You'll take this number and divide it by 40 and that will be how many milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen you have. 340 divided by 40 is 8.5, so there's 8.5 milligrams of dissolved oxygen in this creek.